Welcome to the trap as we are my back back lit is the out of here out of here. Any man battle rap trap and we definitely got the streets. D out again, D out of here, man. Put it on your first of all, salute to everybody in the building. It should be um it should be battlers on the panel and then a fan vote separately. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I, I mean, yeah, that's what I yeah, that's how I did because it's it's like um everybody like to model this shit after the NBA. Right? When they do MVP voting, that's between players, coaches, GMs. Yeah, you do have some media in there. You do have some media in there. But the the media that's in there has actual credentials, though. You know what I'm saying? Actual credentials. If if, if somebody pops up with the credentials, though, this this is my thing. The credentials argument always comes up. Define what a credential is because somebody has interviewed a bunch of battle rappers or been to a bunch of events or Put out a bunch of blogs. Them, nah, nah I, I, knowledge that, that, of the sport. Yeah, that's a that's a that's another mm-hmm. argument. Like, but that how how, how many arguments? But how do we? Made here, bro? But how how do we rank the knowledge of the sport just by somebody that's been watching for a long time? They mean they knowledgeable. How do we rank that? Oh, because somebody it's broke. Somebody it's got subjective. blogs breaking down battles. That means they knowledgeable. I watch breakdowns of battles and niggas be missing and messing up bars all the time. So, <clears throat> are they knowledgeable? Because they can watch it and and guess what certain shit means. So who is who is it's qualified subjective. to you, John? Who who do you feel like? Are we talking league owners? Are we what's to you a qualifying factor? Yeah, I feel like I feel like battlers, uh, non-active battlers, or you know what I'm saying. Um, yeah, and, and and league owners. It don't gotta be the uh the, the top league owners like he mentioned smack and arp we probably ain't gonna get them involved but the other league owners there's other league owners for the smaller leagues there's a thousand of them so like debo cows uh lex niggas this like their own leagues smaller leagues and then battlers on the panel and then you got a fan vote on the side and that for you will be more credible and this is why i say it's nothing to if you got a critique on a process or where you think it could be better or even have that type of idea Nigga, a million niggas in this culture have Jay Black number. You know what I'm saying? Or could reach out to Jay Black through the DM and say, hey, um, you think you should try it this way? You know what I'm saying? Let's restructure this because it means more to the culture, you know what I'm saying, than just some rinky dink award or some fly by night type shit. You know what I'm saying? I'd like to work with you on this, this, that, and the third. You know what I'm saying? Like, you have your opinions and stuff, John. Why not just be on the panel? That means you will forfeit your battles for the year that you will be on the panel. Well, why not just be on the panel? You know what I'm saying? Or hit him behind the scenes. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you got enough fucking bloggers that are going to get on the internet every year. You know what I'm saying? And make blogs about how this shit is compromised and talk shit about the people on the panel and shit like that. If people were genuinely as battle rappers as the league owners, you know what I'm saying, the people behind the scenes, if they genuinely care about making this shit better, contact the man behind the scenes. You know what I'm saying? Because it's not Hard to get in contact. Yeah, but that's not that's not right to say bad money because that's like me telling a blogger, yo, before you say I lost the battle, call my phone. You got my number. It's you not that's number, not what I'm saying at all. That's not what I'm saying at all. I'm saying contact me behind the scenes about how to make the shit better for the next year. You know what I'm saying? If it's genuine that you want the shit to be better for the following year. But that's that's why I, thought... I did them. I don't think there's nothing wrong with that. Right, I, that's why I, I specifically put Battler of the Year in my initial tweet and not Champion of the Year because, again, Champion is whatever Jay Black decides to do with his award. So when I'm sitting there saying, if we're going to do a Battle of the Year award, I feel like it should be chosen b- b- between battlers and league owners. So I, I'm going to call Jay Black and I'm going to call Jay Black and say, uh, <clears throat> I'm going to call him and tell him how he should run his shit. Or, like you said, Battler of the Year. You know what I'm saying? You separated the two. Hey, Black, let's come up with a whole nother motherfucking system, you know what I'm saying, for award. You know what I'm saying? And this is who the fuck we think we can, you know what I'm saying, put on a panel, you know what I'm saying, of voters. We want to do something new, you know what I'm saying? And you think, you know what I'm saying, he can give you some insight on, you know what I'm saying, how to structure it. If you have ideas you want to run by him and a group of other people, then it's fine. The idea of doing champion of the year from the beginning, Jay Black is like my real life friend, so I can actually say this. It was never for that shit to be the only award given out. It was to start awards being given out in the first place. I don't think this is an attack on champion. I do think he's suggesting something different, and I think why not try it? Like if we're just if 
even if everything else can be decided how it used to be decided, let's try a panel of all battlers and just see how that goes. I'm for that. I'm 100% mm-hmm. for that. I'm not mad at that. That's that's not bad. Wrong with that. That's not bad. There's I wouldn't be opposed that. to that. Like Chilla, Chilla was real effective up there yesterday. I, it, it's just it's just crazy because y'all up here and y'all saying there's nothing wrong with what I was saying, but I was damn near getting attacked. <laughs> That's because people fucking... move off emotion, though, John. Like on the time in in this culture, it's more people moving off emotion and facts. You know what I'm saying? Like wow. people don't look at the fact that the the person who was selected to win was by fan vote. That was the deciding factor. That means it's a gang of fans that feel that way. So fans who don't feel that way should have voted. That it comes down to accountability. You know what I'm saying? So it came yeah. down to a differential of five votes. But the and panel the also voted that for that person. Is. So it's and the panel is made up of fans. So at the end of the day, this is the consensus. Whether we agree with it or not, those who disagree with it should have been more proactive. That's the bottom line. And there's nobody to blame but themselves. That's the bottom line. Uh, I just think, um, what you gonna call it? So much shit goes on behind the scenes. You know what I'm saying that we don't know about because um, we're not like ultimately involved in the way that a Jay Black or a John John is. Um, I just think at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying people definitely got to be more proactive. You know what I'm saying as a culture, you know what I'm saying this still is really like a subgenre of hip hop, and battle rap is not as big as some people seem to think it is for some reason. You know what I'm saying and so much more could be done in a culture period. You know what I'm saying? If there's a new award to be created, then let's fucking create it. Not saying me, but the fucking battle rappers, you know what I'm saying? And John John and his idea. And maybe involving, you know what I'm saying, a Debo or ARP or a fucking Dre Dennis, you know what I'm saying? Or, you know what I'm saying, people from the riot. Things of yeah. that nature or whatnot yeah. to create something called Battle of the Year where they do it like that. I think the uh-huh. thing with Champion of the Year, you know what I'm saying, and comparing it to the NBA shit, um, as far as like how they award shit, we're not sitting there in real time watching these guys have a debate about the shit. The people, you know what I'm saying, who wrote on them awards is just giving them, giving their opinion or whatnot and submitting it. They're not sitting around at a round table having a debate. You know what I'm saying? The fact that it's a round table debate is live, you know what I'm saying? And you can visually see how everything is playing out. You know what I'm saying? That's why there's always going to be critique on it. I feel that. Hey, so, John, John, who would it be? Who would Damn, the who would the, the battlers uh, be if it was just battlers? See, with the NBA, it ain't, it ain't really much to debate because there's a real metric system right. to play. Just like I said, it, 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 it's, it's not much right. to debate. You know what I mean? But this is why. It... But y'all don't like judge battles, though, John, John. You can't say there's no metric when this whole sport is based on opinion. Whenever you tell people, all right, let's make these battles judge, it's always pushed back. If we bring back judge battles, then it can be very clear who won what. You know what I'm saying? And then when you go to judge who was the champion of the year or whatever it may be, you have clear stats. NBA has clear stats. A a game is played and you know who won the game. In this sport, you can't determine it. I'm agreeing with you. I'm agreeing with you. That's why I'm saying it's tough to do that because there's nothing like that. But you're saying we don't like judge battles. The moment the leagues put their foot down, like, yo, Frank, if I call you to book you and I want to book you and you give me a price, okay, this battle is judged. You can't sit there and be like, no, you can't judge it. Well, that's the only way I want to book you. You get what I'm saying? Like, you can't. The the, the leagues, if the leagues want to do that, it can be done. But but my point is this. It's hard. It's going to be hard to give out these awards regardless because of what you say. There's no real metric system here. So everything is going to be opinionated. But you know whose opinions are respected more than anybody's? Other battlers. That's all I'm saying. That's a fact. Other battlers. That's a fact. Other battlers will be like they will respect it. It won't be that much of an argument. It'll be some pushback, but not Give me much. three. Give me three battlers that you feel will be good on a panel. <clears throat> Quest McCody. That's one. <clears throat> DNA. That's two. Again, man. Um... I know the names of people who've been I, invited, I, bro. I feel like it's a lot. Now, Chilla Jones, like, third. Yeah, Chilla, Chilla, good. Like I feel like it's, it's quite a few battlers that could do it, that 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 know how to judge with with no biasness, um, and, and you know veterans and that's not as active because you know a lot of us, 
when we battle, it ain't like we 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 trying to battle to be battle of the year. So we could be on the panel and not have to vote for ourselves. No, that's real. You know what I'm saying? So it ain't like you know what I'm saying it's not like that. But I feel like there's a few battles that can do it. But you're going it's it's gonna be tough to really have a rock solid system because you're gonna have to screen everything, top to bottom. You gotta figure out how you picking the you got to announce the panel. You got to pick the panel before the year starts, damn That's man. a fact. <laughs> you know, the panel got to know that they need to be watching everything. And not only that, you got to watch shit as they happen, and then you got to watch it again before you get About on the 100%. panel. Not gonna remember Yo, y'all can hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Doc, what's good? Wait, you, your thing was, what you called, you don't want to tell Jay Black how to run his own shit. If, if you was to go to him and be like, yo, 2024, I want to forfeit all my battles, I'm saying, and we just have an all, maybe you should do an all battle rapper panel. I'll be the first battle to say I'll forfeit all my battles that I do for the year, you know what I'm saying? As like, I can't hear you. can't hear you, bad Please come back. All right. Go hey, ahead, peace Doc. to the world. Uh, John, John, thank you for holding this forum. I think it's important for you all to be invested in, you know, the conversation because these awards are about your work. I appreciate the fact that you are real clear that rappers should be judging this and not fans like Doc Petty um, or Frank White for that matter. Um, especially not I, me. Not especially Frank. not me. Really quick, really, really quickly, I want to make this point. There are ways to take qualitative data, which is opinionated, and quantify it which is put numbers behind it and score it. It's called rubrics. And you can take a rubric and score things like on a per round basis, on a per battle basis. Yes, there'll be some subjectivity, but those numbers are all going to converge across, I don't know, 50 rappers. I think you all should do that. I think you all should think about uh, asking a slew of rappers, whether they're active or not, what they think. 50 rappers, like they do with the Academy Awards. It's an award of the peers. The peers... A lot of these award shows, the Academy Awards, I think so the Grammys, they vote who they think these people should should be. And from a slate, uh, you know, then the fans might be able to vote. Or from a slate, then, um, you know, you get some other participation. But there are many ways to do this. I salute Jay Black for coming up with a way. That's an way. We've established that way. We appreciate that way. That way, uh, to Jay Black's way, created some uh, structure, is the word he used, uh, in the culture. But there are other ways, and he has been very vocal saying it. If you don't like the way he's doing it, set up your own award. So it sounds like what you're talking about is a different award, uh, and I think that's cool. I'm going back to the listeners. Thank you for holding this forum. Yo, you hear me? Yeah. Yes, Right. No, nah, um, I feel bad, Doc. I feel you on nah, that. I feel what Doc is saying, but what I was, I was, it was getting to the point that I was trying to make, which is, you look at it like going to Jay Black, you know what I'm saying, and saying, you know, whatever your opinion is about having an all battle panel, you know what I'm saying, decide, you know what I'm saying, who should win, you know what I'm saying, hypothetically speaking, if we speaking of the champion award, as, you know what I'm saying, you telling him what to do with his award, you know what I'm saying? think he'd be open to that feedback. I know he'd be open to that feedback. It just takes you to be like, yo, um, I would forfeit all of my battles for the year for qualification to be in Cody mentioned to be on a list. I'll talk to some other battlers. It takes that person to be proactive and be like, I'm going to be the first battle to say I'm going to be on the panel. Yeah, but this is feedback, though. This is feedback. And, and not only that, it, it, once, you, once you make it public, public. You make it, once you make it public, you also get other opinions that can help the cause. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? But, I can, I, I but can when you make phone. it public, you know what I'm saying, and it's not necessarily behind the scenes, I'm saying, in a way that can actually benefit, then you get all the trolls jumping on the fucking post, you know what I'm saying, with the bullshit and spreading the narrative. You know what I'm saying? And, and coming up with all kinds of opinions and shit, you know what I'm saying, just to down the shit. And you might not even be saying the shit with the intention of trying to down the shit. You get what I'm saying? I mean, they're going to do what they do regardless. You know what I'm saying? I feel like this is just an open conversation to add to the idea he has so that maybe he can then present a complete idea after having this dialogue. And he's very specific as to who he's going to listen to and all that. I, I'm not, I, I'm totally, you know, uh, it was, I think it's dope. It was really a, a, an opinion. It wasn't like, yo, you should do this. You should do this. You should do this. It was just a public opinion. It wasn't meant to be a fucking... 
you know what I'm saying? Uh, attack, yo, you should do it this way. However, if it does make sense and it's something that he feels like he can implement, you can do it. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? You can do it. I don't feel like I got to call somebody before I make an opinion. I'm not trying to change nobody's system or anything. You know what I mean? Like, I don't, like, I look at that like somebody, that's like somebody um, raiding a, raiding a, 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 a bullpen event and say, yo, bullpen should have had this or they shouldn't have booked this person and boom, 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 boom. And, and bloggers and media do that all the time. They don't call me first before they say that. You don't, you can't go to them and be like, yo, before you do that, if you feel like you should do it, you should highlight John John and do it that way. Like, that, that's not how this think- works. And I think you misconstruing me saying you're not allowed to have a public opinion. But in order to be proactive to the cause, if maybe you might have done something, you know what I'm saying, at bullpen that you could have done better and somebody else, you know what I'm saying, has an opinion that's qualified to give you an opinion, you know what I'm saying, and you would be willing to accept their feedback. Yeah, you know? I, I, w- I would accept it publicly or privately. <laughs> if somebody say something publicly, like do a blog, and I'm watching a blog, and they say something, your bullpen should have did this, I could accept that. It doesn't have to be a private phone call. Yoshi, what are your thoughts on the uh, all battle rap panel to judge a battler of the year award? Can it be male I, I, battler? I didn't say all. My fault, Yoshi. I never said all battlers. Oh, my fault. Yeah, league owners and battlers. And you can you can include some media. I'm just saying majority though. I respect it a lot. The only thing that I'm pushing for now is I really really think the list should be separate. Or I think if a woman a woman elevates to the male list, then she should just stay there and and let the other women compete for the other list. It's kind of not fair and greedy to get on two lists. That's the argument I made before, and I got attacked for it, too. I, I I, at first, I didn't understand, but this year, because there used to only be, like, one girl, two at most. So it went from one to two, now three. Now I'm thinking, what's going to be five? Now it's going to be ten. It's too much. Let the men have their list, and let the women have their list. I agree with the battle, more battlers on the panel. I wish Chiller would have been more vocal, but, hey. It was his first time on there. If there were multiple battlers, like maybe half the amount and half the amount of media, bloggers, fans, whatever, it'll be dope. Well, I mean, y'all might not have been privy to the information, but it was supposed to be two battlers there yesterday. Like up until Thursday, like a couple people went here. You know, like Black went live on YouTube to test things out on Thursday. And then he said it again on Caffeine, you know what I'm saying, Friday. That it was supposed to have been two battlers on the panel. You know what I'm saying? So it was supposed to be another battle rapper there yesterday. Two battlers? It was it was four media personnel. It was still Even supposed if it was to two. be two battlers there, bro. You know what I'm saying? The percentages just would have got broken up a different way. The same way, you know what I'm saying? Everybody had high, like, lower <laughs> percentages when it was more people. Why? It was supposed to be yeah. two battlers there yesterday. But I think, like, an all-battle rap panel, you know what I'm saying, whether it be for champion of the year or something else is, is great. Like, I sat down purposely. I knew since July, like, I didn't dedicate, you know what I'm saying, a lot of my time to watching each and every fucking battle, you know what I'm saying, and determining where I think people rank at through the year. You know what I'm saying? I knew since then. Jay Black knew since then. Like, I wasn't going to be on the panel. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. Like, I'm all for it. You know what I'm saying? If that's, you know what I'm saying, a good way, you know what I'm saying, to move forward with champion of the year or just a battle of the year award, period. I'm all for it. But if it's going to be done publicly, then it's going to be critiqued. And I say, if y'all do a battle of the year, award then have the debate publicly too you know what i'm saying don't just do it like you know what i'm saying nba does it the standard has been set get everybody together in a round table and do that shit you know what i'm saying because clearly like that's something people draw to i mean i mean yeah that's content content works um <clears throat> content works uh i'm not i'm not opposed to the debate like do i feel like uh is needed for context. I'm not sure to be honest with you because sometimes niggas get up there and they they'll try to make an argument, but then they don't make the argument. They start sounding crazy. Now you're giving for shit for more shit for people to disagree with and have a problem with. That's what I mean by if, if if somebody is watching this as a battler and they hear somebody say something that's like way off or they that they don't agree with, but they're not familiar with this person, it goes back to who the fuck is this? How did he get up here? 
And I'm just saying to avoid all of this other shit, because an opinion of a decorated or experienced battle rapper is uh, <clears throat> it'll be like, I right, you know, it's, it's different insight, man. I don't. Yeah, they look at different variables, John. John, if because as as battlers, we know, you know, we just have different insight, and so when when it's from a fan point of view or from the 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 people who I guess just study battle rap or. It, it comes across kind of like nerdy and scientific and, and that's it. Like whatever's on paper is it instead of looking at the other layers that go with being the battler of the year. Thank you. I look at, I look at the art, you know what I'm saying, and the writing and shit like that when I've been up there, you know what I'm saying, and I'm judging. I'm not just sitting there looking at shit from a statistical standpoint and shit like that. I'm looking at shit, you know what I'm saying, for what it is in totality at the end of the day. But at the same time, if you're sitting up there, Yoshi, or you sitting up there, John, and you say something that's a strong opinion of yours that you've probably had all year and a general consensus has, like, a different opinion of what you have as well as the room, you still won't get attacked regardless. You know what I'm saying? Like, even if you're a battle rapper, if you say something that people disagree with, they're going to be like, why the fuck is Yoshi up there? Why the fuck is John John up there? Or, Nah, no, they, they won't. No, that? they won't. No, they won't. It's the difference you, between. Well, they might not question why you up there. They're gonna you, be like, you don't, what the fuck nah, are you talking about if it's a strong opinion that they don't agree with? You don't have to attack nobody just because you disagree with them, though. You see what I'm saying? Like, so a battler will say the same way. A battler would say something, and another battler could disagree, but you can't attack that person because this is another battler, another decorated battler, and it could be understood a certain way. Versus somebody else say something that nobody's familiar with that you don't agree with. That's who you attack. Because what the fuck is you doing up here? If this is I all opinionated, why does anybody got to be attacked, period? Whether it's a no, fan or a battler or a media person. Nah, you use that word. I was just using it for an example because you said attack. I'm saying, you saying people are going to be attacked anyway. But regardless, even with, even with, even with media, like, it's like, <clears throat> and like I said, if it's somebody that just comes out of nowhere because... They wrote bars down and and, and, and and could break it down like this and that. Like, again, these same some people that be breaking these bars down that everybody be saying, oh, this is the best person. They get a lot of bars wrong. <laughs> I watch them. They miss certain shit. And, and again, you, talk, you said you like the art, right? So somebody could be creative about something. Somebody could be very creative about something. But if, it's, if, 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 if somebody doesn't like it, they'll knock it. But I don't think a, a, a decorated battler will do that. A decorated battler will see the creativity in something, whether it lands or not or whatever. A fan can be swayed. A fan could be swayed to think something is whack that may not be whack or that may not be creative. <clears throat> that makes sense? Yes. And, and for the most part, this is how I knew they knew how to be objective and look at other things because of where Geechee was placed. I, I know that they know that. Yep, yep, I don't care, thumb down that because of where Geechee was placed. When I was telling me, oh, Geechee didn't even have the type of year to be top 10. Sorry, not this year. He just just wasn't it. And the panel puts him at number four. So what what is it? They know they can be objective because they know the the, the other layers outside of Geechee's whatever resume or your phone breaking up, Yoshi. I don't know. I don't think people will question like a battle rapper's validity, you know what I'm saying, on being on any type of panel talking about battle rap. I'm just saying, if you got a strong opinion, you know what I'm saying, that goes against the public opinion or where the conversation is going at that moment in the room, then yeah, people are going to fucking disagree with you. You know what I'm saying? There's always going to be people that disagree because this is an art, you know what I'm saying? Because it's subjective, you know what I'm saying? Like, you get down to the nitty-gritty and breaking shit down, like, if Yoshi says the seatbelt bar, you know what I'm saying, was better than hoodie down, you know what I'm saying? There's going to be tons of people, you know what I'm saying, who, uh, which I'm going to call it, want to argue, you know what I'm saying, and be like, oh, Yoshi's crazy, like, that was, the hoodie down was way better than the third, like, there's going to be people who would disagree because this shit is subjective at the end of the day. No two people come into battle rap looking for the same thing, you know what I'm saying, or walking away from a battle with the same thing. Plenty of bars that people might think is crazy in a battle, I might think is hard, and there might be another bar that I think was way crazier that didn't get no reaction. I think 
personally that the panel that was selected is full of people that I got tremendous respect for with high battle rap IQs and dope insights. No knock to what they had going on. I loved it. Salute to them. What I think John John is suggesting is a brand new way to try to do this. And I'm all for seeing if it could work. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, both could be could work. One of them could not. One could be better than the other. I'm all for trying things that push the culture forward. So if an all battle rap panel can be put together, and let's see what happens with that. If it ends up working, it ends up working. If it doesn't, we'll stick with what we had before. Or if it's better, we maybe there's a, a middle ground to be found. But I don't think this is a bashing or comparison thing. I think the panel did their thing. Salute to them for taking the time and doing what they did. Much respect. Uh, let's see what what would happen with the all battle rap panel. Let, let's let's look into that. Yeah, and, 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 and salute Jay Black for doing the due diligence and trying to come up with an award. I want to I want to say that salute to Jay Black for doing that and trying to do something. Of course, we going we going to critique and give pushback and feedback because this is what we do. But that that doesn't mean we are knocking. That doesn't mean we are unappreciative of what he's doing because I know for a fact. This cost him more than he gains off of this. I know. You know what I'm saying? He goes out his way. He doesn't have to do this shit. He can hang this up and nothing changes for Jay Black. If Jay Black decides to not do champion of the year no more, he's still Jay Black. He doesn't have to do it. You know what I mean? So, but again, I can have respect for him and still have an opinion on certain things that can go down the same way uh, y'all can have respect for me and feel like I lost the battle or something. The same, it's the same type of uh, <clears throat> feedback, you know what I mean? So I just want to make that clear. Like, this is not no, again, attack on him. I just, you know, I was just be honest. Like, I clicked on it, and I've seen people I'm not familiar with up there, and I'm just like, I I, I don't even want to be triggered watching this. <laughs> yeah. I feel what you're well, saying, but, today, but these I are people, scared. very knowledgeable people. They're not just anybody. These I mean, are people with I, very I, high I battle rap IQ. I, I is there that. like a battle rap course that you take to get a That's battle rap? That's what I'm saying. Yo, like, it, like how do you get qualified for it? Yeah, what's the high battle rap IQ watching a thousand battles? I think, like, uh, yeah, a lot of battles watched. Uh, very poignant remarks when they breaking down the results of a battle. Um, very acute. Uh, what what they looking for in terms of uh, the different categories? The way they break it down is scientific. I can't. I, I I got a lot of respect for them niggas. I'm gonna keep it tall. And and I'm not mad at anybody who's not familiar with a Tito or a J Smo or or Mark. Like I, I understand. And you've been you're a pillar in this culture, John John. I ain't mad at that. I'm just yeah. telling you, the niggas know what they talking about. They, they, know what, they know what they talk about they really? from, from, from what they're watching. They know what they talk about from what they see, from what they've been watching. It's like we could we could sit at home and watch the fucking NBA playoffs and swear, oh, this nigga should have subbed this nigga in. Oh, he should have did this. He should have did that. But if we ain't never been in that situation, we don't we don't understand what's really going on. It's like I understand that, but don't we watch Stephen A. Smith and and uh, you know what I'm saying and Skip Bayless? Like them niggas is not fucking all stars, but they know what they talk about in terms of due diligence of of being invested in watching the sport and breakdowns and uh you know even when I go to figure out who I'm sponsoring, I have conversations with these people to see what the general consensus of interest the battles is, uh, what matchups make sense. Like these these are knowledgeable people. I'm gonna keep it tall. But again, with Stephen A. With Stephen A. And Skip Bayless, they have numbers to go off of. They have metrics they could study. They actually went to school for this shit. It's real journalism behind this. They wasn't, they didn't get to where they got just by watching basketball. They didn't get to, they go to more games than they probably fucking talk about. They and some they, of these people attend these these events. Like I know some of these niggas be outside at multiple events. I mean, whenever, matter of fact, I'm gonna keep it tall. Whenever I can't. Uh, if a battle, if an event isn't streamed, I'd be watching J Smo's timeline to keep up with the event. You know what I'm saying? Like these people be outside. I'm gonna but keep it tall. Here's, here's another point with Stephen A. and Skip. They played basketball before. They tried. Wasn't that good? They played. <laughs> that that doesn't count for nothing. <laughs> so what does <laughs> me writing for a magazine um that put on the Philly Hip Hop Awards um being in the Philly area, battling, you know what I'm saying, back in the fucking DVD era, you know what I'm saying, having footage of battles and freestyles and shit like that on YouTube, being a part of Champion of the Year, since the inception of Champion of the Year, 
and being the only panelist before yesterday that's been there every year. That don't qualify for nothing. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> even but even you even get like every year, but every year you get people being like, "Why the fuck is Van there?" When you, I've been there just as much as Jay Black been there before yesterday. Because they don't know. That's the thing. They don't. They don't. They don't know. Bad money. But if you sit there and be like, "Yo, I used to rap like Showtime SP used to rap," so when he's breaking down bars, you know what I mean? It's a little yeah, different. I'm YouTuber. He, he, huh? I'm YouTuber. You know what I'm saying? My shit might yeah. not have a whole bunch of fucking numbers, but like, it don't take nothing but a little bit of investigative research, bro. Yeah, but that, exactly. But niggas just gonna have to look. You gotta give them a reason to look for what you, you know what I mean? Because I don't them... really necessarily promote myself to give my opinion, you know what I'm saying, on battle rap content, you know what I'm saying, when I'm delivering my opinion, saying you should believe me more because I used to do it. No, I'm just a regular lump, regular motherfucker who has an opinion just like everybody else do on battle. But you will understand you know certain things more than somebody that's never wrote a bar. You will understand certain things more than somebody that's never wrote anything or had to rap in front of people, had to speak in front of people. You, you like you will understand certain shit more than your your average listener. And so I just want to go back. What the qualifies the person? At what point do they know? Oh, I'm now a battle rap expert. I've watched X amount of battles. I've been to this amount of events. How do they know? that they've certified to be a battle rap analysis. I don't think there's no such when, thing when somebody tell them that they, when somebody tell no them such that there's a battle rap expert that's like I'm <laughs> saying, saying there's an expert on the side of you know, I'm saying which art pieces are magnificent or there are no, people they, who they are, are, are battle rap experts they are yeah. battle rap experts you know who they are battlers those are the battle rap experts the battle rappers I give you that's, that I give that's you my that. point to a degree, but I'll give you that. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, because at the end of the day, I mean, battlers can still be biased too. How many times we seen niggas get on camera and they man got thirty? I didn't and bring they up say bias. that nigga lost. And they say they man won clear. I didn't mention bias. Anybody could be biased. I didn't. I was mention... gonna say anybody. Anybody could be biased. Fans are more biased than battlers. You can't t- fans are short for fanatics. You can't. They, they ain't no more biased than that. But I don't mention bias because anybody could be biased. But if you go on Go with something like, and then how? <clears throat> Hold on, I gotta call. I'm off for any dialogue that's going to push the conversation forward or push the culture forward. You know what I'm saying? And incentivize these people for all the work that they do at the end of the day. Because apparently the money is riding up. You know what I'm saying? So why not try to help these niggas get some more money? I agree. That's why we need to create a man of the year award. I because, take personal offense to the money drawn up comment. But go ahead. Keep going, Joe. <laughs> we you need know, a man right? of the year award because champion of the year, clearly, there it could be any gender, male, female, non-binary, whatever. But woman of the year, it has to be a woman. So that gives the, the girls two times to shine. We need to add another award for the men, male of the year. I'm recommending twerk for Modi. Modi, Modi. <laughs> I don't know if you was in here, you know what I'm saying, when we first, first started. I know you wasn't a um, uh, speaker at the time, Yoshi, but I said early on, like, in music, you have the VMAs, the AMAs, the Billboard Awards, the MTV Awards, the BET Awards. You got so many different awards to go around, you know what I'm saying? And that's where you even get to the Grammy Awards, you know what I'm saying? There should be more celebratory things going around in the culture from multiple platforms. That's fine. I'm Period. Fine. You know what I'm saying? We're going on the eighth year of champion of the year. Henny for a second did the trappers. I mean, yeah. they're hard, though. They're hard. They're you know what I'm saying? Always, there's been a thousand lists that happened last year. Lists. Lists. Well, well see, look, I'm not going to just talk. Like, list, I want to so do it. I, I, I can put a couple list. dollars to the side and create my own little panel and acknowledge somebody that I feel like is the male of the year. I could create that. I could do that myself. A list is cool, but. What about something that gives somebody something they can put on a wall or on a trophy case that they can put in their household to be like, hey, I won that. I can just look for that. People got a wall. Multiple platforms. All I'm saying is there has been multiple platforms. There has been. That have done lists? No, that that's giving awards. I done got a fucking a body bag of the year award plaque from fucking Get your bars up with uh after the Jack Boy shit. This go this is 2019. 
Oh man, it's 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 been awards around. It's been awards where people could give certain shit and print up. I don't see niggas give away trophies, all types of shit. It's it's been happening. But I think like there's more consistency and more now. people getting behind, you know what I'm saying, more than one platform at the end of the day. Because Black not that selfish of a person where he want to be the only person giving some shit out. I think more fucking awards should be given out, bro. Like, it seems What's up, like Doc? Restore Order should have some shit. Hip Hop is Real should have some shit. And he should bring back the trappies. Black Compass, I'm saying, does their media awards and shit like that. But if it don't have to be monetary shit like, you know what I'm saying, a prize um, jackpot or some shit, then a fucking flag, you know what I'm saying, a trophy, something, anything. Just to make people feel appreciated for their fucking hard work at the end of the day. Like, hey, I might not have won champion of the year, but such and such platform gave me this. You know what I'm saying? I can still hang that on my mantelpiece. Something, anything, you know what I'm saying, to reward people. That way, so much shit, you know what I'm saying, doesn't have to rely on one thing to be awarded. It's gonna be an uproar. It's an uproar of the Grammys at the fucking year. Uh, I wanna I wanna um I wanna acknowledge uh we talk about awards and award shows and award presentations. I wanna acknowledge the Florida movement. I'm not sure if how many of y'all are tuned into the Florida movement, but it's like a coalition of battlers and battle rap leagues all through the state of Florida. They put together an award show recently. You should go through hashtag FLM and look at what they did. It was dope. It was just a night of them getting together enjoying some food, drinks, and awards. And there were a slate of awards that they gave. And I actually think what they're doing is a blueprint for the culture. There's this opportunity to have everybody have their award, whatever award they want to give as part of that show. You're like, where's the money in this? Fans will pay to come to a battle rap event. People are getting awarded. There is no cost overrun, but the cost of the venue and the place. And I think somebody like a Jay Black, a, a John John, some of the legends can put that together, man. It could be a Legends Ball. They could call it something. It, it's an event. It's definitely money in celebrating people. So I don't know. I just think it needs to happen. Um, I do think there need to be more awards. Um, no, I agree with you. But from but from various points, but from various points, and I think the beautiful part about what Florida does is exactly what we're talking here. It is battlers judging other battlers, league owners. Is exactly what John's been talking. John John's been talking about, but they're doing it at a I wouldn't say a smaller scale, but on a smaller scale. There's an opportunity for something larger if we take advantage of it as a culture. That's been a uh, that's been a conversation. A few years ago, it was supposed to be one put together. I think um, I'm not sure if it was if it was URL exclusively trying to do it or it was a an award show. But <clears throat> to piggyback off all of this, I, I see what Bad Money's saying. Like, there's a whole anybody could do awards, but the more this dialogue is going on, and I'm thinking it wouldn't make sense to have a thousand different platforms giving out Battle of the Year awards, and it's a bunch of different battlers because of different opinions. I think everybody should get behind one. And I think the one that everybody wants to get behind is champion because this is like, it's, it's everybody trusts Jay Black's intentions. So this is why he gets the most feedback or the most pushback every time because this is the, this is the, the, the go-to platform for the culture when it comes to, you know, champion of the year. I think if everybody did one, like you said, hip hop is real, 15 minutes of fame, and we now it's a bunch of different battles of the battlers running around saying I was battler of the year. It's going to be, I don't know. Like, I, I, that's almost. Yeah, I agree. It took a, they have prestige with the champion of the year. Like, it, it's it's gained respect in the community. And that, it wasn't at first, you know, it took a while, but now it's, it's gained enough respect where we should rally behind it. I mean, I hear y'all. But at the same time, it goes back to, like I said, about different awards, you know what I'm saying, in the music industry, bro. At the end of the day, like... Yes, but a Grammy oh, always going to hit the hardest. I was about to say that. A Grammy is a I Grammy. agree. I agree. You know what I'm saying? But some motherfuckers might be all right with not winning the Grammy and winning the fucking VMA. Nah. VMA award winning doesn't sound as good as Grammy award winning. I'm not going to argue that. I ain't going to argue that at all. I'm just saying, we get ready to be eight years in the COVID. Nobody else has come up with nothing, you know what I'm saying, to give back 
know what I'm saying, consistently at the end of the day. The thing is, a lot of people are not going to put the monetary, you know what I'm saying, part into it and invest some shit and not get a return on their investment. And I think that's what stalls a lot of people from doing shit, you know what I'm saying, on a larger scale. And that's where we give Jay Black the credit. That's what I'm saying. Nobody's going out their way like he's doing to do this. And that's why I said if there's going to be an award, I think everybody do want to get behind champions. So, of course, there's going to be certain hmm? critiques. <laughs> What's that? Somebody said something? Better not. What did you mean by get behind? <clears throat> Come on, man. We doing that? I'm just saying, bro. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> yeah. I said champion, dog. <laughs> All right, man. Go ahead. <laughs> nah, but yeah, but that's that's why, like but, that's and that's why, why is that? Why does he have to be the only person? You know what I'm saying? That's not afraid. He doesn't to take that have risk. to be, but that's the initiative he took. He doesn't he have took to that be. for his platform, though. That's the thing. He took that initiative for his platform to be right. that person. Why does he have to be the only person in the culture? We got so many people that's quote unquote for the culture. You know what I'm saying? Or battle rap united and shit like that. Why is nobody willing to take a risk besides this one person? Not so we put all that pressure on this one person, but we got all these people, you know what I'm saying, that's supposed to care about the culture? I don't get that part. Because it's not easy. We, no, I, when, we, when we see champion of the year, we seen a step forward. There was the, we can't we we can't have it both ways with respect. We just dogged out some people on the panel that we didn't know. Not anybody can start this award and have it be credible respectfully. So we have to be uh, intellectually honest about what it's going to take to actually to we have be we have to be intellectually honest about mm -hmm. who who as a culture will accept to actually start start this and make this work. That's my only what point. Would it, what the culture would accept. OTFMZ starting an award. Hip hop is real starting an award. 15 years yes, but it's not going to have the prestige of champion of the year. Know? Big K walking around with his, his champion of the year belt. Does it and you walk up with your hip hop is real belt. Any platform. It don't have to be a belt, Yoshi. Shut up. Hip hop is real. <laughs> what is going to be a sweater? Hip hop is real belt. It can be anything. <laughs> It could be a fucking trophy. It could be, you know what I'm saying, a big-ass fucking plaque. LTBR flask. It don't have to be the exact same thing that Jay Black does. At the end of the day, everybody's saying, oh, the culture's not going to accept it because, what you call it, Jay Black is credible and nobody else is credible. So you saying other platforms don't have... Nobody no said that, Bad Money. Nah, nobody feels, that nobody feels that way. Nobody feels that way. They will have to be just as consistent as Jay Black has been. It will take some time. Jay Black wasn't consistent with Champion of the Year since he did it the first year. It didn't have the prestige until in the first year. It took a while. Right. So until somebody does it, we don't know what's going to happen at the end okay. of the day. Okay. I think we have something, and maybe they're trying to add to it. You know, we have something incredible. As I said before, I think what he put together is amazing. The people he brought up there is incredible. High battle rap by Q people. I think that this is just an opportunity to either add to it or create something separate from it. Either way, it's no. You keep saying high on. battle rap IQ. Is I, there knew that, but I knew that. I knew that. I knew that was gonna trigger her because yeah, I knew it. I just knew it. <laughs> but that's real though, bro. You can't. You can't just be throwing that out there. Like, I mean, what, what is that? Have y'all had conversations with Tito, J Smoke? These people have. Uh, I bet very they high battle rap IQ of, not higher than Jazz. I mean, I don't. I wouldn't say it's a comparison <laughs> thing. I'm gonna just say that these people watch. An oh, ample but, amount of battles are but, very aware of individual accolades and stats. I think that's to be respected. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we I respect the fact that they they are fans and they love this shit enough to really care about, you know what I'm saying, breaking down battles and all of that. But I don't like I don't I don't know. It's just to say But like if, if they could wanna, if they could talk to you about every battle that occurred a good portion of battles that occurred from different platforms. Uh, different results on different battles that like a lot of y'all don't even be watching for real. Like, I'm I'm just saying that these people do the thorough research before they speak on all all that's going on in the culture. That's what I mean by high battle rap IQ. They have an understanding of what wins a battle, uh, the elements that each battle rapper brings, their their uh, winning or losing streak, their long standing history. These people are very knowledgeable. I think that's we can't respect that. No, of oh, course I've always really heard battle rap before. IQ as opposed to like a battler, like the actual battler having that IQ of knowing how to win a battle, how to approach a battle, how to prepare for a battle. Shout out to the tribes. We are my back back lit is